There have been many incarnations with the TMNT, but it all started and continues with the comics. I sense a great danger approaching. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics you should read. No, 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 whoa, whoa, chill. It's just a mask. See? Don't freak out. Right? Number 10, Plastron Cafe, number one, Old Times. In a short story appearing in the first issue of the anthology comic Plastron Cafe, an aged Donatello undergoes a training simulation, fighting an army of foot soldiers on the roofs of New York City. As he's able to take down the foot soldiers without much effort, Don's computer, Chet, conjures up a simulation of the turtle's nemesis, the Shredder. One, two, three. Damn great. Once Don defeats the Shredder, Chet continues the training simulation by creating holograms of Don and his brothers in their prime. Faced with the memory of his brothers, Don breaks down into tears. Aside from proving that age is just a number for old man Donatello, Old Times is a unique story that will make every Turtle fan shed a tear. Number 9, Raphael Number 1. Got it. This issue introduced fans to Casey Jones, the hockey mask wearing badass who would go on to become a staple of the TMNT mythology in nearly every incarnation of the Turtles. And this is uh, the penalty! <laughs> when Casey witnesses Raph scaring off some muggers, he heads over to finish them off, beating them senselessly with a bat. Raph tries to stop Casey from killing the muggers, showing that crime fighting can have two very different outcomes. Get out of here and let me do mine. These JB lowlifes need to be taught a lesson. Not like that, they don't. With different views on justice, the heroes square off both physically and philosophically. This confrontation between Raph and Casey has been adapted many times, but this is the story that started it all. Raphael wins! One, nothing! <laughs> Number 8, Attack on Technodrome. Oh man, that was a short trip. This four-part story has the turtles trying to stop General Krang's Technodrome from terraforming the Earth. This series is memorable for the finale, in which Shredder orders Bebop and Rocksteady to kill Donatello. Rocksteady manages to hit Donnie with his sledgehammer, the first in an onslaught of blows that would eventually crack open Don's shell. After the rest of the turtles defeat Krang and stop the Technodrome, they teleport back to the lab and find Donatello beaten to comic book death. Splinter holds Donnie in his arms as the turtles grieve for their fallen brother. While Donnie would soon return, the moment the turtles discover his body is one of the most heartbreaking panels in any TMNT comic. Number 7, A Bull Wrinkle in Time. Crossing over the COW boys of Mumasa with the TMNT, this story begins with Sheriff Terror Bull stealing the crystal shard from the sacred cave, creating a magical doorway to Manhattan. The COW boys team up with the heroes in a half shell to stop the evil sheriff and return them all to Mumasa. The crossover features a few meta moments and jokes that point out the absurdity of anthropomorphic crime fighters, with the turtles making a number of references to milk drinking and eating burgers, and the COW boys feel guilty about eating turtle soup after they return to Mumesa. Number 6, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Volume 1, Number 6. Words come down from the top. They're to be shipped off to the games. A group of Triceratons, giant aliens who look like muscled Triceratops, capture the turtles and send them to the dungeon on the Triceraton homeworld. There, our heroes are forced into an arena to compete against a Triceraton gladiator in a fight for their lives and their freedom. When a ship that's filming the fight gets too close to the action, the turtles hitch a ride, creating an opportunity for a daring escape. Order your troops to stand down! Now! Stand down! I order you! The Triceratons present the turtles with a physical obstacle unlike any they had seen before. The existence of this alien homeworld also makes the TMNT universe feel much bigger in scope. Number 5, Usagi Yojimbo, number 10. Man, this dude is good! This crossover begins with a young Usagi mistaking Leonardo for a fat priest, ordering him to carry the brash swordsman across the river, insulting the disguised Leo along the way. When Leo reveals himself to Usagi, the two trade blows in an epic sword fight that lasts for hours. Your swordsmanship is excellent! Thinking he'd found an opening, Usagi strikes with what he believes to be the final blow, only to slip in some mud and fall on his back. Leo could have finished the fight with Usagi down and unable to defend himself, but instead, he helps him up and commends him for his swordsmanship, proving that Leo is more than just a great warrior, but a hero with honor and heart. I wish you a good journey, my friend. Number 4, To Serve and Protect.
This story follows Lieutenant Gordon Miller, an NYPD officer who is badly scarred during the City at War crisis, as he investigates and interrogates an injured foot soldier. Unfortunately, the injured soldier is assassinated by a fellow Foot Clan member before he can give the police any important information about their organization. Disguised in hoodies, the turtles swoop in to help the NYPD during the attack, and Lieutenant Miller is confronted by the very same Foot Soldier who scarred him. Stories like these help to ground the turtles by making their Manhattan feel like a real place with real consequences. With all the superheroics, mutant threats, and ninja warriors running through the city, there are still good cops just trying to make a difference. We know you're out there! If you don't surrender, we start executing hostages. Keep your head down. <laughs> Number three, City at War. Stay back! He's mine! <laughs> Raph is ambushed by a member of the Foot Elite Guard, the most fearsome warriors in the Foot Clan and the personal guards to the Shredder. The Foot Elite is defeated and ends his own life by impaling himself with Raph's sigh. Meanwhile, Splinter regains consciousness after falling down a hole and encounters a mysterious figure in the shadows. The figure is revealed to be none other than the Rat King, a villain who first appeared in Tales of the TMNT No. 4. Splinter's interactions with the Rat King are a central part of the City at War arc that capped off the first volume of the TMNT comics, and bring added depth to a fantastic storyline. What am I but a monster? And now all will fear me! Number 2. Silent Partner Shredder returns! After his apparent death in the first issue of TMNT, Shredder reveals himself to Leo before beating him close to death and sending him crashing through the window of April's apartment in Leonardo No. 1. <laughs> the story picks up in TMNT No. 10, where the rest of the Turtles, with the help of Casey Jones, take on the Shredder and his army of foot soldiers. Let's face it, the Shredder was way too menacing a villain to be a one-off guy for the first issue. His return was inevitable, and was handled in a way that demonstrated why he makes such an excellent nemesis for the Turtles. Something much worse comes for you, for when you die, it will... Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1, TMNT Volume 1, Number 1. Mm. The little ones were crawling into a strange glowing ooze from a broken canister nearby. The comic that started it all. Originally written as an homage to superhero comics, specifically Daredevil, the New Mutants, and other popular characters at the time, this issue introduced a number of key elements to the TMNT mythology, including their origin story and their arch nemesis, the Shredder. Uh, maybe all that hardware is for making coleslaw. In fact, the Shredder is actually seemingly killed at the end of the issue, when, after being defeated in combat, he pulls out a grenade in a last-ditch effort to take the turtles out with him, only to be knocked off the roof by Donatello's staff as he explodes. Of course, the Shredder would return, but the first issue set in motion what would become a cultural phenomenon that continues to capture the imaginations of fans everywhere. agree with our list? Oh right, a real thrill! What do you think are the best TMNT comics? For more exciting top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. They must have it! Donatello, you drive. Usagi, you will accompany us. The rest of you, try to keep the dragon at bay.